How do you think the issue of diverse, the lack of diversity can be fixed in Irish journalism? Um, I think, first of all, it needs to be acknowledged by the industry that there's a problem because there's a lot of denial, there's a lot of uh, kind of deflecting the question and saying, well, we have plenty of female producers and researchers when what they're not looking at is they're not looking at who the decision makers are when it comes to current affairs and news programs um, and why diversity of voices and viewpoints are important as kind of a central tenet of journalism. Um, so once they acknowledge it, they need to put structures in place that ensure that we have a great diversity. So one thing that Women on Air recommends is that they put gender targets in place, not quotas, but targets, so that program makers have something to work towards. So if you look at what Vincent Brown's program did a number of years ago, they said that our target is 50-50 in terms of our contributors each week. Um, Vincent Brown held his producers to that, and at the end of each week, he would ask them, well, why did we only have 40% this week? And they'd have to go through it. So he not only set a target, but he held them to it. The other thing is training. Um, I am a strong believer that we need to train people in both print and radio and television and online in the importance to their job of getting a diversity of viewpoints. Um, because if you're only uh, showing a small part of the story, then you're not serving the public well. So um, those are three things that we recommend. And do you see them addressing, uh, potentially even acknowledging this as an issue in the next, say, five years? Um, the national broadcaster has been extremely responsive to our suggestions in Women on Air and they put a number of things in place uh, which is wonderful to see. Um, we suggested that they do a training program. They did a Bring on the Women training program. Many of their programs have put targets in place and they're also tracking the number of uh, contributors that they have on their shows and uh, whether they're male or female as well as I think greater diversity issues. So do they represent non-nationals for example like me and like you? Um, you know, Are they looking at the diversity of communities that are now in Ireland compared to 50 years ago? and are they serving their audience well. So RTE is doing a lot. Um, the commercial sector has been extremely defensive about the whole thing. Now I'm quite hopeful that that's going to change because they're starting to have dialogue with us at the moment. I think they've seen what RTE has done and they don't want to be left behind, so that's a good thing. So do I think they'll address it in the next five years? Yes, that they'll have to because there's a lot of pressure on and just in terms of good basic journalism, it's something they have to do.